All right, you're watching DefenseReview.com. I'm here with Jay Taylor of Lalo Tactical, and he's got some very interesting running and training shoes, and he's gonna take us through them right now. So what are we looking at here? Hey Dave, we've got a series of shoes we make for the operators, the first of which is a functional fitness shoe for directional change, it's called the Grinder. Second one is called a Bloodbird, it's more for weightlifting and oriented shoe. It's uh, got a midfoot wrap on a saddle on both sides. The last one's an aerobic fitness shoe called the Zodiac Recon. And and it's, it's a running shoe. Run yeah, meant to run in. Uh, distances anything over 5K to a marathon uh, works really well in those categories. And then you have a trail shoe. And we're just launching a trail shoe in March. It's called the Zodiac Recon AT. Same platform as the Zodiac Recon, but with a much improved trail lug for it. And you'll notice we've got a couple different densities of uh, foam in the bottom of the shoe. That's designed to give you some cushioning at foot when you land, and then uh, propulsion material in the forefoot. So it's more efficient to run. So in the Zodiac, uh, we focused hard on making sure the shoe was uh, efficient to run in. We added a 60 shore EVA frame to the shoe with rubber inserts in it to, for the high wear areas. There's a 50 shore EVA in the heel and a 55 shore EVA in the forefoot. The idea being at foot strike you get cushioning, but when it goes to toe off you get a propulsion component to the shoe. Right, this is reactive. Totally reactive. What you'll notice about the shoe is it's got a very big flat spot in the middle of the, underneath the midfoot, which forces you to foot strike with your foot right underneath your hip. And it gets you very quickly from foot strike to toe off with the rocker. So you spend less time in the transition phase of the shoe and more time getting to the next step. So when you wear the shoe, what it really feels like is you have this perpetual motion machine going. It's foot strike to foot strike to foot strike and it's all generated by the rocker and the, and the shoe. We use the same technology in our uh, trail shoe slightly bigger grip. When you hold them back to back, you can really see the platform inside of the shoe. The foot strike platform. They make contact in the middle and then they... Yep, makes a lot of contact. In our functional fitness shoes, what's unique about them is most people scoop away the arch area. We actually build out the stability arch, we call it. So when you wear the shoe, you feel a whole lot of contact or connection to the ground. So you feel very stable in the shoe. Gives you a lot of proprioceptive feedback for when you're lifting or doing agility work. So do you have a lot, a lot of arch support inside the shoe? Inside the shoe, there's a moderate arch support, but what it gives you, uh, it engages more sensory receptors on the base of your foot, which gives you more feedback to your brain, which helps you stay more balanced when you're lifting. Interesting. And then, and then the what's the other one other than the weightlifting shoe? You got the, the like the cross training shoe. Yep, it's a cross training shoe, which is the grinder, and we use the same technology on the sole as the grinder as we do on the bloodbird, which is more lifting oriented. Uh, so the cross trainer is not really a running shoe. You can run up to about 5k in it and get away with it, but it's not really designed for running. So it's more cross out wads, wad, 400 meter runs, one kilometer runs, up to about a 5k run. You're okay. So you can do like sprinting in this, like sprinting training. Right. Speed work, no problem. Okay, very cool. And what do these shoes retail for, roughly? So the Bloodbird and Grinder are 130, the Zodiac Recon at 150, and the new Zodiac AT will be 160. How much? 160. 160. Okay, very good. Because a, a little bit more goes into that machine, right? A little more technology in there, a little more construction oriented stuff. Very cool. Thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We're at Lalo Tactical at SHOT Show 2018, and you are watching DefenseReview.com.